bring up Randy. He listed mm-hmm. his top three wide receivers the other day. Yeah. And we we know you have thoughts. I, I like it. I like it. it. It makes sense. I mean, he Randy said he doesn't care about numbers. Did we remember that, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Forget the numbers. The most gifted receiver to ever step foot in the NFL is Randy Moss. The most gifted ever. 6'5", run 4-2, catch the ball effortlessly. It, it just, he's the most gifted. Are there other things you can find wrong that you don't like with him about a receiver that other people may have? Yeah, you can. You can. But when you can sit back there and launch it 80 yards and not worry and know nine times out of ten, he's coming down with that. He's probably, he's right in his wording and belief that he is the greatest ever. And I, I agree with him. For me, him and T.O. are 1A, 1B. You can't go wrong either way you go. Ooh. So you agree, agree, just for context for the audience, the three yeah, is yeah, Randy yeah. Moss, T.O., and uh, 1A, Jerry. 1A, 1B. And then Jerry, 1A, too. 1B is like trying to compare uh, Beyonce, Rihanna. Either way you go, God damn it, you can't go wrong. Well, then what is Jerry Rice then? Who is Jerry, who is Jerry Rice? <laughs> Jerry, 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 what is, what is Jerry, Jerry, Jerry Rice Jerry, in this situation? Jerry would, Jerry would be J-Lo. You know, <laughs> J Lo's a legend. Oh, oh, J Lo's a goat, though. J Lo was. Uh... Did you just hear the first two names I said? I did, but like, <laughs> j- listen, Chad. Like, I'm a little, okay, no, I'm a little no, older. No, I'm a little no, older, no, so wait, Jerry Rice on, is like, is I get, I get the argument about being gifted. I get the argument. Everything being you're talented. saying about Jerry Rice is based on numbers. That's but what, numbers what count. Doing. Numbers are part of your resume. Did you hear what Randy Moss said? Yeah, I did. Numbers aside. Okay, but if you're also going on the numbers aside, I'm going off of skill and what you're able to. Okay, but if you're going off skill and giftedness, you can put Odell Beckham Jr. and DeAndre Hopkins in that conversation also. Actually, you can, but we're talking about two different types of skill sets, obviously, that you don't know or understand about if you're trying to compare DeAndre Hopkins and Odell to (laughs) T.O. Wade. Yeah, Adam, wait up. Are you serious? I'm just saying if you're if you're parameter, if you're if you just compared DeAndre Hopkins. And Odell Beckham to Tio and Randy Moore. I'm not saying their career yet, obviously. I'm saying, said. but if we're talking that, about skill, if we're talking about skill and talent and gifted levels, that's you can you put those said. individuals up there with the there other are great levels individuals. and tears to talent and gifts. Let, let's understand. Let's reel yeah. in a little bit. And okay. for you, Chad, really you're, bit. for you, Chad, you're saying that tier at the top, Randy and Tio, no one's at that tier with the talent and giftness. Yes. Have we seen another Randy or Tio yet? Do we ever yeah. see another Jerry Rice? Uh, yeah, my, yeah. Here, because you're my, basing everything off numbers. My, my take is <laughs> numbers matter. Numbers gifts. matter. I don't know. They do not matter. <laughs> but you guys right, so matter up. <laughs> you guys call me up the Madden rating. Who do, who do they matter to? We're talking about to Randy Moss comments because now you're going off topic. Yep. That's how you make a definitive. Right. That's how you make a definitive there. comparison the with topic numbers. Is Randy's first words were, "Off of numbers, I'm basing everything off of skill and talent and gifts alone. He's the best in the world." And you keep trying to throw numbers in there. And that's not what we're talking about. Okay. Because we're numbers, talking about but, numbers. But numbers do matter. Devices, numbers you know? do matter. Okay. So, so who's we'll your top five we'll, then? We'll, we'll agree who's to your top Chad, five Chad, that you have, I you have, a, have a top five. I love yeah. everybody. Exactly. Chad loves everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a top five. This is, this, is this going to go live? Because this is fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Chad, can, we, yeah, Tuesday can morning. we talk about how we had the greatest IG live with you ever in the car? Do you remember that? He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember. Ain't no way he. (laughs) Chad, we were in the, we were in the car. You were live on the complex sports Instagram talking about how you need a cover and how we need to do it. And we should do it. Bro. He don't remember you, bro. Uh, I I want to get back. I want to get back. I want to get back. Let's get back to it. To this combo on gifts and talents yes mm-hmm. break, it, break it down for the for the listener chad because i don't think people understand but i don't i don't i didn't you can't break it down for the listener because the cab the casual listener is not going to understand they're not mm-hmm. going to understand the greatest receivers like like think of this the greatest receivers to ever grace the football field is randy moss and to and i'm basing everything off of what moss said Mm-hmm. No numbers included. Not basing anything off numbers. Talent. If mm-hmm. you've never seen T.O. and Randy Moss play up close in person, it's unbelievable, an unbelievable sight to see. And for me, 
for me as a player that's been on the field with both, my mouth was in awe. It was dropped open. As it is, as it is today in today's game, when I watch D Hop play, my mouth is in awe. When I watch Odell play, my mouth is in awe. Stefan Diggs, Keenan Allen, Devontae Adams, my mouth is in awe. But there is a different level of talent and skill when it comes to those other two at the pinnacle of the best of the position. It's like, and it's, I, I can't say it because they all do the same thing. You run, you catch, you run, you get away. It's just, it's, it's different. Like there are so many different breeds of dogs, right? Mm -hmm. You know, they all have their, their different gifts that they bring to the table and things that make them special and makes them what they are. But it's something about these two particular wide receivers, not taking anything away from, taking anything away, taking anything else away from anybody else because we're all gifted in our own right. But those two sit atop fucking Rush Mount Moore of receivers. Okay, that's great. Right. And that's, that makes that makes 100%. Now, it's, this is, you want, no, no, let me finish. Now, okay. if you want to throw numbers in there, what you want to do, you know, then it's a different ball game. Okay. Because you're basing everything off numbers. Numbers count. Numbers numbers are important. So my resumes question, resumes my, are important. My question to you is, if we're just going off skill and in, in the gift that you're talking about, it's hmm. safe, completely hypothetical. What if you dropped Jerry into this era? What happens? What happens if you drop Jerry into this era? Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's a pass happy league now. Yeah. It's a very. It's a pass happy league. What happens if you drop uh, To and Randy right. in this era? With the rules, with the with, with the way the rules are, where you can't touch anybody. I mean, we saw a little bit of it with Randy in 07. Like that was the very early stages of what it it could have been. It could have been. He was older. Than, probably, you know, what, what, what it, it's 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 almost scary. It's it's almost scary. You know, and not to take anything away from all the receivers are great. The top five now are great. The top ten right now are great, and it's interchangeable based on what you like, based off preference, and who you personally like, and the way they get it done. Oh man, this is great. Okay, so <laughs> D Hop, you said your jaw is dropping. You've oh, seen him on D Hop, the he's the best in the game okay, right now. So again, but you're then saying... there's a there's a one B, right? Yes. Then what about Tyreek Hill? Then what about Stephon Diggs? Julio. What about Devontae Adams? Who, who, what about Julio we Jones? We what do you do? What do you, what do you do? Could we could we say there's Think more talent? That. There Think is there more that. talent right now in the position than ever before? It's yes, good. because look what I just did. Yeah. Look at everybody I just named. Mm. But then tell me two names I can name, and it's still on another stratosphere than those that I just named. Okay, but does D Hop but, no, have the no, 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 no buts? Who are the two <laughs> names I can say that are on another stratosphere than everybody I just named? I know. Randy, I just want Randy to ask Moss you though. Okay, no, no, Ran I'm not talking until you say the name. Say two names. Randy Moss and Tio. Thank you. I'll say it. <laughs> okay, but Thank I you. know. But it's I want to hundred percent. It's skill. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. We get that. That's fine. But I want to ask. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Chad, we love you too. And we appreciate you coming yeah. on and having this great debate. But does D Hop have the ability to get on their level if you say that you're George yes. Johnson, you watch him on the yes. field? Yes, you know how? Yeah. You know how? Playing in the league 15, 16, 17 years. It's going to be there. And you know what D Hop has that most players don't? Consistency. Okay. And I didn't even fucking have consistency. It, okay. You and know he how has you get discipline. But consistency means you get numbers, and numbers show that show greatness. And can, I just and, said and, that. Being consistent <laughs> is getting the opportunity and the ball thrown at you. Then consistency comes into play. And then putting up numbers, mm -hmm. catches, touchdowns, yards, all the stuff that matters you on your resume. You get that with opportunities. You can't get those unless you have the opportunity. You know, the ball has to come. Yes, Chad, just call, Adam, just call Adam a nerd. Just call Adam a nerd. Adam. Adam, you have to break it down in layers. It's just not about I, there's, saying it. There's nuance Certain to every conversation, to every debate. In order for you to do it, certain things have to happen. For one, you got to stay healthy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Two, you have to get the opportunities to have the consistency to put up the numbers. Mm -hmm. The quarterback, the offensive yes. line, the coordinator, mm -hmm. the play calling. It's so much that has to go right for it to happen. So much. You make okay. it sound easy, but it's not easy. I'm not trying to make it sound easy. I'm just saying, though, when, when Randy's original assertion or whatever, and everyone's assertion about giftedness and talent, there are guys in today's game that are just as gifted, talentedly, athletically, and their ability to catch the ball, football, if they have the right guy throwing to them, everything working properly. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're, on the, they're on a similar talent did, level did as you those just say legends. Some, did you say there are players today that are just as gifted as Randy Moss and T.O.? Athletically? Of course. 
You're telling me that Odell, you're telling me a completely healthy Odell Beckham is not as talented athletically and gifted in ways that I don't, Chad, I don't think Adam paid attention to anything you said in the the past 10 minutes. Am I being punked? Is Aston Kutcher going to pop out somewhere? No, Aston Kutcher's not. I'm trying to have a a legit debate with you because I think athletically those guys are just as gifted as your Randy Mosses and your Teals. I'm not saying that they're better right now. Obviously, they're not the, they're not on a Mount Rushmore of the NFL they receivers, but sheer athleticism and talent. two completely different type of skill sets altogether, though. So how are you even comparing the two? It's a very subjective You can't do that. We, it's not we, subjective. It's common sense if you know the fucking game. <laughs> I, I, clearly, Adam doesn't. Chad, we love you. We're running out of time. Real quick before we get you out of here, I just want to say, Chad, you are a great human being. We saw what you did. With the, you do it all the time, but the tip last night, just you are a great human being. And I just wanted to say that before we get you, got you out of here because yeah, that stuff you do, that. It's, it's super inspirational and you never have to do it, but you continually do it. And it is very fucking awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I mean, it's, it's, it's always been a part of me, even when I was playing, man, just, just being gracious. You never know how you can change somebody's life, even if it's small. It's small to, it's small to some people. To others, it's, it's, a, it's a big difference. So I just continuously do it. It's, it's, it's a great thing to see. And it's super, I, 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 I hope you know how much it really like inspires other people to kind of do that kind of stuff.